I'm Dan Ackerman, and we are here taking a look at the Lenovo ThinkPad Twist. Now, even though this system has the ThinkPad name from Lenovo, not the more consumer-friendly IdeaPad name, uh, it's actually got uh, some of the features that we've seen on those IdeaPad laptops that are maybe a little more design-heavy, a little more consumer-friendly. It's got the uh, flat-top island-style keyboard with those little kind of convex cutouts at the bottom of the keys uh, that you find on a, lot, on a lot of Lenovo systems these days. It makes typing a lot easier. Uh, it's got a big button-free click pad, uh, which I always like better than, let's say, having a separate left and right mouse button, although you still do have the extra set of mouse buttons up here for the track point uh, that has still not gone away yet, still there if you need it. And it's got some nice rounded corners and a cool matte black finish. So for a ThinkPad, it's a pretty design-heavy ThinkPad, kind of like the edge line that Lenovo has. But but much more important than that because this is a Windows 8 laptop. It is a touchscreen laptop. See, it goes like that. Just put your finger on it. And even more important than that, it is a convertible laptop, something actually Lenovo and ThinkPad were doing for many years before Windows 8 made touchscreens and convertibles kind of cool for Windows again. Uh, it's called the twist, which means that you can take the screen and you twist it around like that. Now, in this mode, Maybe I'd call that kind of a kiosk mode, so you can maybe play a movie here, show a PowerPoint presentation without having the keyboard in the way. It's sort of a good presentation mode. But then you take the screen, you fold it all the way back, and then you have got basically a tablet. And it's not the thinnest or lightest tablet in the world, but uh, it's certainly a little more easy to handle than, let's say, the Lenovo IdeaPad Yoga, which has a screen that bends all the way back, but then leaves the keyboard exposed on the back here. In this case, the keyboard is hidden. It's probably a nicer overall tablet experience than the Yoga. And of course, you just twist it to bring it back. And that is why, of course, it's called the Lenovo Twist. The other thing I liked about this is that with a basic Core i5 configuration uh, and the touchscreen like you see here, it's actually only $899. And this is a premium looking and feeling laptop for $899. Uh, that makes up for some of the flaws, like let's say having a lower resolution 1366 by 768 screen. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is the ThinkPad Twist.